I'm Deacon Nelson Glass, and I welcome you to I God Today. Have you ever seen or heard something that left you speechless? Well, our gospel story today is tied to that very thing happening thousands of years ago. It's about John's birth, the cousin of Jesus. Elizabeth was a very old woman who could not conceive and she was childless. While her husband was praying in the temple, an angel appeared to Zechariah and said, your wife is going to give birth. During the discussion with the angel, Zechariah expressed his doubt, so he was struck dumb until the birth of his child. After the child was born, many came to see the naming of Zechariah's son on the eighth day, all looking for what family name would be passed down. Zechariah asked for a tablet and wrote, His name is John, as the angel had instructed. Now being able to speak, Zechariah gave great praise to God. How wonderful life is. Do we realize that if all happening today with pro-choice environment that would have recommended Elizabeth in her old age to abort that child due to the risk of her health and possibly the birth defect being so high. What a great contrast from yesterday to today. Life is celebrated and welcomed with open arms and today it seems like a convenience. The excitement of John's birth left the whole town wondering what great deed God had in store for such a child. I know being a third child, that was not my experience, and how we in society have taken the joy of life from the birth of a child for granted. We have changed from making our ch children number one in our lives to treating them like a household chore. If we continue to read in the scriptures, we can see how wonderful God performed God's work through John. John performed God's work. If we simply reflect for a moment, we would have realized the gift of life God gave us, not out of convenience, but God purposely brought each of us into the world to do His work. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, may we thank you for this day for our birth. How often have we taken the life you gave us for granted? Help us this day to do your will. May our actions today leave the world speechless. 